Good evening. It's Saturday night. This is Mystical Machine Gun. We're back with more Metal Gear 2. Haven't been here with you for a couple of weeks after our rather marathon session to get back to where our saves were. And then Halloween was after that, so couldn't tell the kids, sorry, Dad's got to go talk to strangers on the internet, so took the week off and here we are. Now, long story short, especially since last stream was like an hour and a half, which is like a record for me, the, um, we retraced our steps through the game. We defeated Black Color. Oh god, I always feel like I'm going to say something vaguely racist just by saying that guy's name. Um, <laughs> we also defeated the Running Man, which got us card three. We returned to the main building with card three, which got us the Stinger Missiles we need, John, well, I'm hoping we need, to defeat the helicopter that we encountered a few, oh, a few weeks ago now. So... There's always a bit of, well, I know this now, now that I've played almost every game in the series except for Snake's Revenge, there's always a bit of backtracking in Metal Gear. I don't mind it. Um, I mean, we've had to we've had to backtrack to get, you know, open up areas we haven't been before. A, a bit of a Metroidvania type style, not quite. Although you do you do return to earlier areas and you were able to access other areas that you couldn't access previously so just wanted to grab some health and then I'm gonna head on head on out maybe pick up a ration on the way we'll see I have a bit of a complicated relationship with Metroidvanias because I played I never really played Symphony Symphony of the Night or Super Metroid. I was a Mega Drive kid. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> Need a counter for all the times I get spotted. Um, but playing Metroid Prime on the GameCube, I got so frustrated with the backtracking. And I think my main issue with backtracking in certain games oh come on man you couldn't see me before um this is why i actually spent a bit of time earlier to this evening grinding for rations but then i get, kept getting spotted while grinding for rations so it wasn't really working out that way either what was i, what was I saying the backtracking in stuff like metro prime drove me crazy because enemies would respawn and like Yes, the enemies respawn in Metal Gear. I, I don't expect anything different from a game from this era, from this memory limit and everything else that would remember all the, all the people you've killed. But since you can avoid enemies, backtracking through previous areas becomes a lot easier. And I know the idea with a Metroid is that you, when you go backtracking, you have better weapons or a Castlevania, I should say, as well, is that you have better weapons, so you're better equipped to take on the enemies. So it's like a, it's almost like an RPG where you go back. If you went back to earlier areas after leveling up a lot, you would feel super powerful. Um, with Metroid Prime, though, all the enemy, and it's the same for Prime 2, I believe, having only watched a playthrough of it rather than played it myself, is that enemies have a gimmick. You have to shoot them with a certain beam. So, you don't go back and feel more powerful because you've got more rockets, missiles, I should say, more missiles and more health, because you still have to switch to that beam, power it up, shoot him with that type of beam, go over to the other enemy, shoot him with that type of beam, you know? like that. And so, with Metal Gear, you get stronger in health, in ammo. Oh, hello. <laughs> Let's try to figure out 
I was trying to figure out which way that guy was looking, and I was spectacularly failed. Oh, we're gonna die real early. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's have to just shoot everyone. Um, life 08. That's a uh, that's a bad sign. So with Metal Gear though, you can Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear, First Death of the Night as well. Crank up the alerts count and the and the death count. I'm gonna have to load state already. That's so early. Maybe Saturday night's not my night. I already had a sign from the universe that I shouldn't be streaming this evening as my uh, my headphones, my headset, which I've had for a very long time, and which are held together with electrical tape and prayer actually broke for the first time in a long time so I had to redo the redo the tape which I haven't had to do for a long time so I did double check my audio because my left earmuff is kind of hanging a bit weird but I think I sounded the same if I don't please let me know anyway so yeah so Metro Prime it felt like you backtracking was just a complete waste of time because you had to do all the stuff over again with Metal Gear, and maybe this is just the way I feel about the game, the main gameplay loop of Metal Gear in general. But when you do return to an area in Metal Gear, you know, you may, well, hopefully you know, the guard patterns a lot better. I say that as I'm on the second floor for the 500th time, which I never seem to, I never seem to get a good uh, a good rhythm with this floor. But knowing the guard patterns and knowing where to go. In Metal Gear isn't about your guns isn't about your strength level it's about your skill and so you go back through different areas to find a mine detector or find a missile launcher or whatever and you feel or I feel more skilled more like I know what I'm doing that was certainly a noise boys there's the sound of me punching your friend. Just don't move, that's fine. So anyway, that was a very long way, long-winded way of saying I don't mind backtracking in Metal Gear. Because, as we've seen from the basement floor, there's a whole lot more doors we can't open yet. So we will be going back with a level 4 card, level 5 card, whatever you want. And yes, I'm going back for rations. <laughs> I have to be patient. I, patience. I have to not rush. And it's difficult to not rush when you're playing a game like this. When you're playing live for the internet, because you want to, you want to look like you're a pro gamer. You want to look like you know what you're doing. Um, so what you end up doing is you. Oh sugar. Oh sugar. So much for that crap hot plan. Oh well, elevator's open, let's go. Oh! <laughs> Didn't have time that better myself. That was not planned. Why do you have to run all the way into the elevator snake? It just gives them the chance to attack you. Right. Yeah, this ration was a waste of time. Oh well. Got nothing but time, we're having fun. I did do some other pre pre-playing, pre-planning today, I uh, I went and double-checked the Stinger Missiles that we picked up at, uh, late last episode. That guy is not on the radar. It's probably hard to see on the stream, but he, he must be near the border of screens because I could not see him. I, I, I double-checked the radar that time. But I know with the timing of this screen that he's there, so I need to get over myself and... Ah, oh, I just need to get to the top of the stairs. Come on, you can't see me. You were all off the screen! You were all off the screen. Unfair. See, this happened um, when I was practicing as well, actually. they If they know where you are, it doesn't matter that if they all leave. Like, that state persists, that they know where you are. 
So if I get spotted again here, before I get into that little hidey hole, then every guard will know where I am. I have made an utter fool of myself saying, oh yeah, backtracking, I know where I'm going now, so I feel way more powerful, and now and I've been spotted multiple times, shot multiple times. That's what you tune in for, isn't it? See me make a fool of myself. That bullet's not going to make it, this bullet will. There we go. Uh, key two, key two. Tell you what, after all that crawling through through the jungle following that guy and being able to just take him out with one shot and not have to worry about where he's going is a is a is a gift. So what we'll do we'll use our use our ration. At least we've got some life. March through the desert. Okay, I do take it back. This part, backtracking this part, is pretty painful. There's no quicker way. Like there, whichever way you go is convoluted and windy. So it's just a put up with it type thing. There we go. Don't need the mine detector if you just got to crawl everywhere. You'll just hear the boink, boink, boinks as you go. So we know our friend in the next screen up. I do, I do keep forgetting to use the binoculars. That's true. Um, I should use those to see where people are actually looking, which way they, which way they're facing. Let's do that now. Okay, that's the way they're facing. So, ah, I have to stop using them now. So now they've turned. Check again. Look at that. Okay. Let's get back to crawling. No, crawl, snake. Gosh. <laughs> you need to crawl or you will die. You need to crawl or crawl or die. There you go. The much slower follow up to skate or die. Now, which way are you going next is the me is all question. Are oh, you going up there? Now, were any of these trucks teleporter trucks? I say teleporter trucks. I should say transport trucks. That's probably a bit more accurate. Ah, oh, just finding the pixel that they want me to step on is real frustrating. I'll definitely take some ammo though. We maxed out on the pistol at least. Can we crawl out of here? That's the next question. Nope. <laughs> go, 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 go. The other truck is tempting, but I'll just keep going. Oh my god. Just go, Snake. Actually, new plan. Let's check out that truck. That squeaking sound is hilarious. It's like there's a little mouse in my shoes. I don't like the enemies hurting you as they touch you. It's very, it's very video gamey. It's not very military sim, you know what I mean? It's... Oh. Okay, we get auto cleared out because we got a boss to fight, so were there mines first? Doesn't look like it, does it? Okay. Now, to drop a save or not to drop a save, that's a million dollar question. So we've got two types of missiles now that we've been down to that basement floor, B1. We've got anti-aircraft missile, can be fired anywhere within radar range. And we've got the missile remote controlled using the cursor keys. Now, from memory, from Metal Gear 1 memory, Stinger is the way to go. And I had a little, 
play around and essentially I'm now controlling that crosshair on the radar. So I can't move until I unequip it. <laughs> so with that in mind and knowing that there's a big honking helicopter just to the north of us, I'm going to be bop and scat and fill, fill, fill and we're going to go north. Okay, I think running down here is a good start. Try and avoid getting shot. Oh! <laughs> Not the right pixel. Can't use it while I'm under here. Okay, so much for that strategy. But we can do... Let's try this. Oh, I can't, still can't use it because I'm crouching. We get well clear. Stand up. F2. Okay. Now, where's this helicopter? Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. It is, like, even though it's a big helicopter, it is the size of a guard. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is why I saved. I should even quick save. That'll make things a lot quicker, won't it? What's quick save? F8, okay. F8 and F7. Somebody remember that for me. So, I'm presuming we can't shoot it until we get up. Like, there's no, absolutely no point doing anything there. I've got no rations, got no card keys. I cannot move until this little cutscene plays. Okay, let's go, go, go. I wonder if there's safe spots to stand. No, I think it's a bit... No, I think it's a bit dynamic. It's just where he goes. Okay. Now he's on another screen. Let's try... I have no idea if that hit. It's so small! I mean, I'm not... I'm not playing on a CRT. Ah, oh, from back in the day. Okay, let's get a ration. That's step one. I think I can only carry one type of each... I can only carry one of each type of ration. There you go, that's words. That's how words work. MMG. Um, he's going to turn around and see me. He's absolutely going to see me. He'll definitely... Oh, there's no ration in here. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, so we are rationless and we are getting shot at by a helicopter. Okay, there's two ways we can go about this. We can try... I have got that proper state saved. So I can at least go back to... I can at least do a roll back to the main, to building one. Make sure we're safe first. Okay. Vicious. It's vicious, this thing. Do I need to be on the same screen as it? I don't know. We shall find out shortly. Like, a missile kind of went out, but I didn't get much feedback other than that. Okay. I don't know how that targeting works. I do not know how to... Oh, sugar. <laughs> I knew that would happen straight away. I immediately pressed the save state rather than the load state. Okay, I think we're going to need some rations just to survive. A fast forward button would be lovely. Oh, we're going to need rations just to get away from these... Turkeys. We 
Which way did we go last time? That looks pretty good. Stop shooting the snake. Deep in the jungle, you can't see me. I know you're gonna randomly spawn in from whatever direction, but that's okay. Okay. I don't know how to hit this helicopter. I really don't. I really don't know how to hit it. <laughs> So what I'm doing here is I'm hoping that load screen will refresh that ration for me. So at least we can take a little bit more damage before we die. I'm racking my brain trying to think of how to use that missile properly. I really should have just practiced with it, should I? I should have just practiced with it first before starting streaming. That's my fault. Because I'm sure there's... Well, the mines have respawned, so that's a, that's a good sign. I just can't... Because of the crawling and because of Snake's weird crawling hitbox, see, I, you have to be bang on... Bang on the gaps, otherwise, yeah. Um, it makes it a bit hard. Okay, what have I got there? Not fussed about ammo, I? I just need health. Just need health. If one of you could like walk this way so I can shoot you, that would be great. Oh, I've got to stop pressing the punch button by accident. Yes. I'm the stealth master. Can I sneak up here? No. Snake has not developed the ability to shimmy along walls yet. What are you going to do about the noise, dude? Oh, you're going to go up there. Oh! <laughs> you, only, you can only laugh. I'm not going to go on the truck because about 15 dudes will pile into the truck after me. And they will whoop me. damage output of these enemies is too high. It's too high. It is absolutely too much damage for them touching you. Like, that is some... You know, that's Mario touching an enemy in the wrong way and dying instantly shit. Just... If a person brushes up against me on the street, I don't immediately fall over and die. Can't turn and shoot. You need to remember that you can't turn and shoot. You need to deliberately press turn and then you need to deliberately press shoot. I cannot see the mines, I'll have to crawl. It gives them more time to catch up to me. Well that was satisfying. Turned, should have turned earlier. If you get a ranking at the end of this game, my rating is going to be utterly dog shit. Just cactus. Least stealthy creature in the history of time. Yeah, 
it really throws that last uh, last video into a bit of stark relief. In an hour and a half, I made so much progress because I'd played it before. I knew what to do. Come back. Try and go back to playing blind and doing it that way. And yeah, utterly, yeah, no good. <laughs> you need to laugh. That is the main thing. And all this just so we can be shot by a helicopter a couple more times. It's it's a tricky setup. I, I think I'm doing the right thing by using the stingers. There's nothing else. Like, guns will do nothing. It's a helicopter. Um, the remote control missiles, that's not what they're for. Yes, a noise. Come investigate and die. Please. Don't you want to come and see the noise? Come on, feel the noise. No, you don't. Look at that, punching walls. Yes, I know. Thank you. Look at that. Why haven't I been doing this more often? And look at that, a relatively unhassled ration pickup. So now I need to keep an eye on the next screen for the next guys. Ah, oh, where's my binoculars? He's not moving. Ah, oh, Jesus. I'm going to have to equip something else, okay. This is thrilling television, just watching little shiny dots on the TV. What am I doing? I can just shoot him. Just shoot him now. There you go. Okay. Better. Better situation. We've got more health. We've got a ration. This is what progress looks like, people. I'm going to press the right uh, save save button too. Staying on the same screen as the helicopter is a death sentence, for me at least. I will get chewed up, especially if you are standing still. Like the... I can't go north, okay. So that's what he's preventing me from doing. These hidey holes, like, yeah, you can hide under them and you won't get shot. You're protected from the, the shots. That's fine. You can't do anything under there. Oh, jeez. It cuts, cuts so bad. Like, you need to move, you need to move to not get shot. <sighs> Looks, feels like there's a lag on it as well. Oh my God, I managed to hit it. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I am amazing. Okay, don't don't try and shoot him. He's on the same screen because he's just not good at it. His tiny speck on the radar, at least. God, I'm actually doing a terrible job. I'm out of missiles. That's all she wrote. I guess you're not going to be friendly enough to give me some more missiles. No, I'm dead. And this is the other problem with a limited ammo supply. Okay. That's a bit weird. But hey, we managed to get a hit in. That's good. So let's do F2. Got him. Oh, I wish you could just automatically unequip it. Okay. 
I wish you could automatically unequip it. It's like, take a shot, and then it auto unequips so you can actually move before you get shot. Let's try here. Okay, got him. Let's move. Let's move, move, move. So if we... And this is another... <laughs> this is another... You don't get to see... You know, the boss you're fighting set up, but... Oh, I guess that's life. That's what the platform can provide. We're doing really well. We are doing really well. I'm feeling, feeling good. That is three shots and three hits. It is actually really forgiving. Look at that. We did it. We did it. Not bad at all. Can we go north now? Yes! We are free to progress to a loading screen. Loading screen. Oh, are we still on Squeaky's hand? No, good. Oh. <laughs> are we still, do we still stick out like a sore thumb? Hell yes. Haha, uh -huh, you guys are stuck. I'm going to go in here. Just crawl, snake. Building two. Look at this. New areas to explore. All that time talking about backtracking. And look, I don't need to backtrack for at least five minutes. We can explore the new digs. Can we pick up more than one ration at a time? Yes, we can. Okay. So this is ration B2. The one I've got equipped is ration B1. So, of course... Once I use up Ration B1, I will have to equip Ration B2. Oh, okay. Oh, could I come out from underneath the truck? No, there is no space underneath that truck. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm amazingly stoked at beating that hind. I was overthinking it so bad. Because of that crosshair had that spot in the middle, like it had that dot in the middle, I thought you had to get that dot bang on turns out even though the spot on the radar wasn't very big you're still shooting a bloody honking helicopter so yeah you don't need to stress too much about it okay oh ooh, I was about to say somehow all the guards disappeared but front door's not going to work front door never works in these games my man I haven't had a Kodak in forever what do you got to say Colonel you can disguise yourself as some luggage Use your old favourite, the cardboard box. I don't think I have that. From now on, contact me at 140.66. Over. I don't have a cardboard box. I do not have a cardboard box. Please tell me there's a cardboard box in here. Yes. The box. Get in the box. What's in the box, etc., etc. So, let's have a look. That'll be an item, I'm guessing. I should probably just take out these guards. I should take out these guards. But that wouldn't be how I roll. I need to alert every guard and get into trouble first. So hang on, F3. Use to transport a label reads to Zanzibar Complex. Okay. I think we just need to get this alert cleared first and try again. Oh, okay, where are you guys off to? There hasn't been the friendly guy dropping a ration for me in a while. Is it a time thing? Nope, just go on in the vent, does the trick. Okay, let's see how we can interact with this conveyor belt. My friend's just about to come back on screen left I think no this guy's gonna come on screen one is there we go can we try the front door or not? okay oh we got we still got the box of course we do why wouldn't we sell the box 
back. It's moving, but it's moving out of the building. When there's no alert happening, maybe we can just walk onto the conveyor belt? Or do I have to go to another... Okay, when the alert's on, the conveyor belt stops. So that is your hint. That's the B key. <laughs> okay, let's double check what we've got. Okay, we do have a cardboard box. Let's just kill everybody. Oh my god! God! Stealth Master. Okay, he's off the screen. He won't bother us from there. I'm waiting for some dots to move. It's like playing Space Taxi. Okay. That dot moved. Into his back. Motherfucker. Progress. In the box. Box is all you need. So again, if you, you know, were a Japanese kid, oh, okay, hang on. Oh, what's Holly got to say? Snake, I was discovered and caught. Help. Oh, what's that music sting? I succeeded to contact Dr. Marv, then this happened. Where? Your location? Don't know. I was blindfolded. Tower building, I guess. Yes. Snake, the noises from the left, an elevator, okay. Okay, so we've got an elevator on the left, a pump-like noise from the right. From fore and behind, it sounds like water streaming. Water, pump, elevator. I've got a sound map now. They failed to notice my wireless, but hurry. Can we call someone else, like the Colonel, and say Holly's been captured? That would probably be a good idea. If you are in trouble, contact McDonald Mill. He's a former survivor. He's a lot of you slugs. Unfortunately, okay. Let's just do that, and then we'll, we'll roll on. Okay. Miller has nothing to say. Oh, sweet as. Do we have multiples of Ration B2? Oh. Look at that. Very happy. Thrilled. Oh, hello. Noisy floor. Hello, can't get close enough to shoot him. Okay, come on back. I really don't care how many guards I kill. Huh? What was that noise? Okay. Key card shuffle. Okay. Good start. Nobody's on the next screen. Hello, elevator. Oh, okay. Ooh. Crouch. Jeez. Okay, that's just a hiding spot. Okay, let's just do this. Does that mean I can just crawl through there? Nope. You heard me though. Ah, oh, I guess. I think I can see what's going on here. Perhaps I have to find a spot on the map where there's one of these little elevators and there's some water and the pump noise. Keep your ears peeled. Oh god, where are we going? <laughs> it's about ten floors. Let's see what we get. Oh, hello, kiddo. What you got to say? They buried the doorways here. If you hit the wall, you can hear where they used to be. There's a blocked off elevator down there, so that's... Oh, okay, sorry, kiddo. 
I've already heard your piece. Oh, no! Oh, Jesus. Sorry, kid. All right. I, pre I was pressing space to get past your dialogue, not to murder you in cold blood. Out of the way, kid. Just get out of the way. Thank you. Oh, don't follow me. Hang on. Yeah, I know. Okay. Okay, okay, that's fine. I'm going to press N from now on. So instead, at least I punch a child. I think I would get... I think I would get a... Question mark or exclamation point if I found one of the false walls. Okay. I need this kid to get out of the way. <laughs> you talk too much, kid. Please move so I can try some plastic explosive. How do I do that? Okay, let's just try it. I did manage to use some... Ah. Look at that! Hey! Wasted one, but that's okay. Ah, yes, we got these sensors again. Oh dear. They're pretty in sync, aren't they? So that sound that I heard... Um, so I did hear a sound when a different sound because I think I heard it around here. Oh, I can't punch when I've got the C4 equipped. It's my favourite piece of dialogue. Can't get enough. Because I think... Nope. So that and do sound different to me. Let's do this space to use, and then walk over here and press punch. Supoib. Okay, what do you got to say for yourself, kid? I saw a lot of green pineapples in a room south of here. Ooh, grenades. Can't punch while you got to be kept. Can't use this elevator. That sounds good. Stay there, kid. Oh, are you serious? I ran out of ammo. <laughs> A talk button would be good. <laughs> I'm at a I'm at a disadvantage here. Bit of a peek behind the curtain here, but I um I record in the shed. Not soundproofed. Not insulated. So well a night like tonight where it's been actually quite humid. Ah oh, shit. Do I even have the key for this door? So anyway, it's very humid this evening, and there's no air conditioning in here or anything, so I've just got the fan on, which makes it very hard to listen for the different sound of the walls. Let's go explore a bit more downstairs first, anyway. Reason for that... Reason I'm thinking we should explore some more downstairs first, anyway, is that there was plenty more of that floor we haven't seen yet, so let's give that a go first. Oh, hi. Oh, come on. You are kidding me. It is more than likely I will not be able to open any of these doors until way later. Oh, you've just got to let me move. You've just got to let me move. You've just got to let me move far enough. 
just got to get into the room. Move your butt, idiot. Ration at least. And this inevitably goes. Ah, oh, I. Okay. You're on a different part of the screen. You should not be able to see me. I should be hidden. That should be brown. It should not be red. It should be going down. Ah, oh, okay. No. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there we go. <laughs> I will never, and I never did, I will never complain about the Solar on Radar ever again. I love that thing. Vision cones are the greatest. Okay. How do we get into that into, inner, inner circle there? I think we need to go back to the 10th floor because we saw an elevator on the 10th floor that we can't access and there's nowhere else on this floor to go that's where we came in no it's not I know you heard a noise I wanted you to hear the noise so I could shoot you Card three, let's give that a go. No. Card two, no. Card one, no. Music's cool though. All right. I'm, as I was trying to say before, oh, there's another elevator, okay. Oh, hang on, oh, there we go. We're, we're one ring in. We're one ring further in, so let's do that. This will not take us to the 10th floor because that is blocked off, so let's see where it goes. Can we go down? Yes! B1. Loading screen. Ah, oh, we're back in the sewer. Now, this is... different <laughs> hey there we go cool always can use more ammo does that refill my plastic explosive no it doesn't that's bad maybe there's more plastic explosive down here anyway no card one. Oh, kids coming to chat to us anyway see you kid hey Especially since we beat the the helicopter. Yep, we can carry more. Excellent. That's going to make that floor a lot easier to deal with. Let's see what the kids got to say. Hey, are you a friend of that blonde girl? Yes. What can you tell me about her? Oh, 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 shit. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> okay. There is a water current I cannot do anything about. <laughs> I do not have any diving equipment or anything at the moment. Oh, where is this taking me? Oh no, where is this taking me? Is this taking me all the way back to building one? I can I at least swim? No, that just takes me faster. Oh my gosh. Where are we now? Oh, somewhere. see guards I think we're back at the first building I think I just really kicked myself in the nuts <laughs> which to be honest oh my god I can't fight the current at all I need to make decisions about which way I want to go can I go up am I going to be able to make it nope how about this one I can go up here okay are there mines sure are Am I just completely effed? Okay, I can just shoot him. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, I should have done. If I'd known that, I would have gone the other way. Oh. 
Is this the way up? Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, go swim and snake that scene faster. They don't touch anything when I'm swimming, he just gets carried. Give me an eye on that O2 level. Oh, well, that's great. Oh, that's fast travel of a type between the two buildings. That's good to know. Where will this get me? I'm hoping that's a kid on the radar. There it is. Oh, oh come on. You're telling me I have to do a whole lap to just get, part, get to the kid. That's real bad. You know, real bad. Okay. Okay. Do not go against the stream. No shit. One eyed uncle said that. Let yourself go along stream. Okay. When phrased like that, it sounds like a parable. Then you'll see what you couldn't see. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Thank you, kid. So I can't go against the stream, but we can go this way. We can get back to where we started, or we can do the big loop and see what that other kid... Oop! Shoot these rather than get blown up. That'll be a good start. That's where we entered. Which was a poor choice. Oh, there's a ration up there. I love rations. Hmm, okay. One eyed uncle told me to watch for a man wearing green. Hey, that's me. I have to tell him that the girl is not here. <laughs> Thanks, kiddo. Why can't I see a. Tell me, girl. Why can't I see another room? To the side. Wherever Holly's being kept, there's actually a elevator to the left, not the right, so this is the wrong room anyway. Uh, card three couldn't get me in. Oh, card one, okay. Hello. That noise was promising, wasn't it? Hmm. Okay, so what have we got? We have got this kid saying, are we a friend of Holly? Or the blonde girl? We've got this room. Can we... Hmm... It may just be the elevator. Let's see if we can get up here. I'm betting we can't actually. Can we go up? Can't go up. Okay. <laughs> I did. I did want to find out if there was a fast forward mode on this emulator, and I've, I've, I've almost found it. This is almost a fast forward. Okay. It is pretty neato. When we find card four, we'll definitely be coming back this way. Now, there'll probably be mines up here. <clears throat> nope, not so far. But there's no current either. Hey, hey, look at this. There's a door. There's a kid around the other way. Can't open that door yet. We'll be back here. Let's see what this kid has to say. Stay on the screen. <laughs> stay with me, kid. Water here is very cold. If you stay in too long, you catch a cold. Fuck, why did I shoot the child? <laughs> okay. Now, that's the kid we couldn't get to before either. We haven't heard from him either. And Mystical Machine Gun, I know there is the word gun in your name, but please stop shooting the children.
Okay, thanks, kiddo. So I'm guessing in something similar to Metal Gear Solid 2, if we do stay in this water too long, we will start sneezing. And that'll just make it hard to be stealthy. So down here, was there a door that kid was in front of, or was it just the kid? Water tunnel jet stream goes all the way to other building. Sure does. Okay, yep, just this. All right, let's get back in the water. Get your warnings, kiddo. We're going. We're getting wet. I wonder if it's being you need to be in the fully immersed in the water for that to happen, or if it's just if being in the waist high water. Snake, watch out for bombs. What does Miller have to say about water? Do not drink more than 100 cc of water at once. There you go, he does have something to say. It takes energy to heat the water to body temperature. Water also dilutes your blood. Playing and drinking at the same time is dangerous, he says. Ah, oh, I still didn't go up there. I think it's the same. It's much for much, this wasn't it? Okay. Yeah, I can see on the map that actually all all roads lead to Rome, as far as this is concerned. So, what is the goal of going in that corner? I don't know. Okay, so to get to that other last kid. Took the color green yet? Oh my gosh. Uh, to get to that last kid, we need to go right first. Hug the wall, watch our O2 gauge. Yeah, we should be okay. Snake's a pretty decent swimmer. Hug the wall, hug the wall, hug the wall, hug the wall. There we go. What hint have you got for me, kid? Under the water tunnel, I heard there's an old sewer. Uh, this isn't the sewer? Okay, cool. Now, we've done laps of the whole joint. So, what we want to do next is we want to go up this up here. Because at least we might be able to get to the ration. And, this being an area with no guards, this could be a very useful source of more rations. Look at that. Of course we'll have to go around the whole loop again, won't we? A ration is worth it. What kind is it? B1. Okay. Is that vitamin B1? Wah wah. Okay, can't shoot them before they get in the water. No. Okay, thank you. Let me go over here. Let me just go over here. Let me just get back on the stairs. <sighs> okay, we'll investigate that last corner. This is so far, so this is the fastest snake's moved in his life. Because we keep going up those other paths. I'm wondering if I should just duck out of the water for a minute so I don't catch a cold too. Ah, stuff it. We'll experiment. There's no guards around at the moment to hear snakes sneezing. Okay, there's nothing in this corner. Oh, it's just a thing. Okay. Alright, let's get back to trying to help Holly. So, how Metal Gear, how Metal Gear Solid likes to deal with prisoners is usually they're behind a false wall and then, you know, they never really tell you. Oh, they did not tell you, but they uh, they don't go into the details of the impracticality of, of having to board up all these walls, cement over them. At least in Metal Gear Solid, the ones they've got ah oh, 
haven't respawned yet. That's okay. Let's go back to over here. Sure am. I'll be her best friend once I rescue her. Let's try that central room. Step one, let's try here. Oh, it probably actually won't work here because that's just going to be the next. Okay, just worth a try. Card one, yep. It's that pump room, so let's do that and see if these work. Hey, hey! Ah, <gasps> we found Holly! Could talk to someone in person. Thanks for your help, Snake. <laughs> Urgh. What's the matter? Nothing, I just didn't know you were... Oh, Snake. So beautiful. Oh, unlike your imagination. We should have met... We should have met earlier. About Dr. Marv. It seems he's safe. Yes, I know. Seems? I thought you told me you contacted him. Well, I haven't met him. He is detained somewhere. He has released a carrier pigeon... <laughs> It may be carrying some kind of clue. A pigeon? Where is it now? I found it, but it escaped at the last moment. It flew up the elevator shaft. Oh my god, are you serious? To the rooftop? Perhaps. The soldiers are searching for it as well. You should catch it first. It's our only clue to find Dr. Marv. <laughs> Pigeon search. I can imagine David Hayter saying that now. What are you going to do? I don't want to be a burden. And I want to collect more information as well. My value is going down these days. Oh no, it's not Holly. Don't be silly. Hey, don't go too far. I don't want to be tapped. So I changed my frequency to 140.76. Got to write that down too. Here, I copied a card. Card four. Use it wisely. Bye, Snake. See you later. And she struts out of our lives, only to be on the radio from now on. So I was 140.76. Holly! What? We both live dangerous lives. It's not certain that we'll see each other again. And what should we say? We can always meet if we're alive. Okay. Goodbye, and be careful. Brings a tear to the eye. That's great, and I think that's a good place to pause for the evening. We've just about hit the hour mark. We have saved Holly. We've got card four. We've beat a boss. I think we're doing. We're cooking with gas. So we'll leave it there, and we'll pick things up with card four exploration next time on Metal Gear Two. Solid Snake. This is Mystical Machine Gun, signing off.